episode 82. Wow. We, uh, talk. I like how I always go, we, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You notice that every time it's always a we, uh. Because I'm like trying to remember what it is. What we talked about. We talked about a myriad of things. And uh, Vish is going to explain what we talked about right here. Well, mine was the uh, CES, a Inter- uh, few interesting texts, and uh, replacing our pets. Yeah, and mine is a surprise, so you have to listen to it or read the title description above. <laughs> <laughs> Probably do one of those. <laughs> cool, uh, cool merchandise. Yes, uh, if you want to support the podcast, hit us up on shop.lmfr.com. Pick up some teas on Teespring. Because Teespring's where it's at. We should be sponsored by Teespring. That'd be kind of cool. Like you make free teas. Not free, but like, you make teas. Sell them. <laughs> right. Yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, and you can also support the podcast by doing these things, Vish. Like, share, subscribe, commenting, and... Video. Not this year. Not this year, Vish. Oh. Not this year. We're not doing that anymore. You got to come with something new. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Snapchat us. Oh, I don't have Snapchat. Oh, though. right. I don't know. DM. DM us. Yeah. DM. <laughs> DM Vish because he wants he wants to message back all of you oh, at Jesus. eight under sage, underscore sage <laughs> or Twitter at eight sage gamer. Cool. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom, and we are back with another episode of Crowd Gamers. This is your weekly roundup. We we're talking about four things from the week that we thought were cool and dissect them as we play video games, hence the term Socratic gamers. Because yeah. we're Socratic, we think, ask the why. It's actually one of my topics, by the way. And uh, gamers, because we play video games as we talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, first on the docket, Vish, what do you, you said you had two. That you got two that are melded into one because they're similar well, topic. Well, I mean, it's it's it is the same topic. It's just more specific. Anyway, so the first thing would be, well, CES happened. This oh no way! Week. Oh nice. You okay, didn't cool. Know. <laughs> oh, I did not know. I, you know, I know you did not know. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. So there's a couple, like. We got three on this one, just in this uh, for the ones that were kind of interesting, okay, weird and uh, and also pretty cool. So I think the one that what the what's pretty cool because uh, CES they got everything like a oh, bunch of different techs, TVs and mm-hmm. all that stuff. I think last year we talked about it and like LG had their roll thing, roll up TV. And there, yeah, I remember we were talking about like the. Uh the subway thing? Or no, the, the robot thing. It's like a robot server. I don't remember I now. remember that distinctly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, that was over a year ago, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. Like, TVs are always uh, the thing to look at in these sort of things, mm-hmm. at these sort of CESs. Like, I think the more... There was a lot of focus on 8K there. Okay. Uh, but the one I'm talking about is micro LEDs. So Samsung was showing off their micro LED TVs. Okay. Wh- Basically... Can I, can I take a guess? What? So micro LED is like you have smaller LEDs, meaning that you get more pixels? Sure, but I'm not, it's not about that. Oh, damn. It's, it's not All about right. the tech itself. Oh, okay. Over okay. the micro LED. But it's about what Samsung was showing was um, you t- like it's like it's modular. It's panels where you can size the TV as big as you want it. What? So, okay, interesting. It comes in like, I don't know, square pieces, let's say. Okay. So you can make like a more like a widescreen where it just fits the movie. Okay. You can make it more like you can make it different sizes. Like, or you make it uh, that's a bad way. It's like make it 40 inch or make it 75 inches okay. by adding on to it. It oh. comes in pieces. It's like a Lego box. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then like you that. can have so, so whatever fits. So, it, so it's sort of like it's sort of like how I bought three extra monitors yeah. to cover more room. Well, it's okay, yeah. So it's just making a bigger TV. It's not like I don't know. I think you can add, I guess, different screens onto it, but it's like expanding the screen. No, no, but that's also why I got the three extra monitors. Okay, yeah. Because like I needed to like put stuff in yeah. certain areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, yeah, couldn't yeah. see everything at once. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's I guess cool. so. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So they were showing that off uh, using like the seventy-five. So you can. 
Like, ex yeah, it was really cool. Why is that? It's probably expensive though, but. Yeah, did they ever come out with that, uh, that row, uh, that like. Yes, it is coming out this year. Two. They actually talked about it more about it this year at CES, uh, and for consumer. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah. How, how much is it? I did not check the price. It's probably really expensive. Over 10K? Because, uh, yeah, it's like a 4K version and it rolls up to different sizes. So we're looking so. like $10,000? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Probably not. But I, something like Can that. Can you game on that? You can game on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can game on that. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if it's like, because I, I remember like uh, a long time ago, I was playing Xbox in the basement. On yeah. The, remember that giant TV that I had? Yeah. Like the big box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we got like the, the one that's mounted. Mm. But like the big box one, the graphics weren't that good. It was just a giant TV. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that actually? It was yeah, like a giant I, oh, box. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I remember a giant that. box. And then, but that's so, the technology before those. Like, yeah. That's called CRT TVs. Yeah, I don't know. Are you right? sure? So All that's, right. well, yeah, because they use like a big uh, bulb kind of thing to project the Okay, true. Lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, got you. And then uh, I moved the Xbox to my room with a smaller TV, but yeah. it was better, better like pixelation. Pixelated thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, not pixelated. No, not pixelated. Yeah. 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 And then I saw all these like extra things that I didn't see on the downstairs TV, like these, <laughs> all these like added like yeah, yeah, HUD yeah. modules yeah. on the Halo interface. Yeah, 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 I remember that. I remember you. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, it tripped yeah. me out because it's like, what? I hadn't seen this before. Right, right, like the visor for the... Yeah, 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 you remember, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. But it's funny because like, same thing goes for uh, different monitors because people are like, well, what's the point? I have this one monitor. Yeah. I don't need another one. But mm -hmm. like, it really does change the quality of it. Like dramatically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think dramatically, actually. Yeah, it's it's more about now, more about pixel density. So the more pixel density is, you can't even tell that it's a screen. That's crazy. To the point where it's like too real. <laughs> I've noticed with like 4K, or uh, I guess it's 4K, when you shoot the movie and then it's like it's too clear and then you can tell that they're wearing costumes. I don't like that. I think that depends. Even within 4K, there's different things. It's like this called HDR, mm. uh, which adds more color stuff. Because I, I remember I saw um, I don't know Avengers sure. with you, yeah, Infinity War, in the theater yeah. with like the hyper resolution and i was like oh this is like fake right and then i watched uh -huh. it a second time yeah. in a lower resolution okay and like in the theater and yeah. then it was way better like for me it felt way better because i could actually get into the story because like i wasn't paying attention to the fact that it looked like costumes mm -hmm. you know okay so sometimes sometimes hyper reality can like take away i think maybe yeah uh, I, I, I feel I, that way. except for video games like you always want the best immersive hyper reality for video games right but just like movies for me it's like i don't i don't like it <laughs> yeah yeah so i mean that, that was one of the things the other one i thought was um so is your second topic no oh, it's okay. all it's all like just uh, like the couple things from ces i liked and then the other one is uh, like uh, well, well we'll get to that after okay uh so people were surprised to see like apple apple weren't there as a company itself but they were showing off that uh, or Samsung and the other companies are showing off that they're working with Apple, bringing AirPlay, bringing iTunes oh, uh, into cool. the, into those TVs already, and HomeKit stuff. Oh, that's cool. So that was surprising. Mm. I think people were, didn't expect that from from Apple mm. to work with these companies. Yeah, usually usually yeah. they keep to themselves, right? So uh, Normally, yeah. But I think they see, you know, it's like iTunes bringing to Windows. It's, uh, they see the benefit now that I think smart TVs are there. I think this is the way to do it. Mm. It just helps them more. Anyways, in the long run too, right? So that was that was something surprising to see. Uh, did uh, Tim Cook make an appearance? No, no, no. They're oh. not going to make an appearance. Oh, they did have an ad kind of like it'd mocking be crazy. though. You know, it'd be crazy if like they made it like a rock show and it was like, and then like all the lights <laughs> turned off and then the screen started to play and then you're like, yeah. wait, is this an Apple ad? And then all you see is like a spotlight and then coming out of the ground is Tim <laughs> Cook. You know what I mean? Like, like a stage? Like a rock star. Yeah, right? Yeah. They'd be like, oh my God, he's appearing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? Like, I guess. plot twist. Sure. That'd be kind of cool. I don't think so. All right, well. Uh, and then, um, this is just a funny thing. Um, we talk about all the immersion, right? With technology. Mm -hmm. So, Immersion toilets. Okay. <laughs> so it's like a smart toilet. It's got mood lighting. Wow. It's got 
surround sound for wow. birds chirping, just like you're doing it in the wild. I don't That's know. That's so I weird, though. Is... <laughs> Aren't you supposed to, like, squat, though? I guess so, but... Right. Uh... Do they have, like, side side handles or something, side bars where you can, like, put your feet and then you can squat? <laughs> it's supposed to be better. It's like um, the Alexa-enabled... You are to now command taking... it to flush. Oh. Or read you the news. I mean, that's a it could intense. do it. <laughs> that's why it's a intense. smart toilet. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was it, this. Sometimes you do these things too, just kind of like to push boundaries, right? right. And see what happens. <laughs> but it's like it's weird because you th- you think of a smart toilet and you're like, oh, what are the ramifications for that? And it's like, well, then you could have smart fridges. You can have smart. Well, they're already there. Though. Smart. No, no, no I, I, I know. Yeah. But like, if you push the the boundaries I, I, I of think... the toilet, you're gonna push the boundaries of the everything else yeah exactly we're gonna have yeah. a, in a yeah. smart apartment well yeah i mean I, this all started from smart tech uh smart um what do, you, what do they call appliances right so oh, okay true. and then this is this another appliance to make it smart right, right, right it's right. not really an appliance but yeah yeah i got you yeah that's pretty crazy yeah that, that, that those are like the three interesting you things. know be really intensive like your bowel movement shows that you are dehydrated <laughs> you know something like crazy like that yeah yeah yeah, cool. yeah it could eventually happen you know what i'm sad about that that girl who looked like steve jobs and then she said she was gonna do blood testing with like a prick oh yeah and it was like a fake thing oh uh, like, she I don't failed like needles, so horribly so, like, i saw that i remember like going to like getting the when blood check and i was like yeah, have you ever heard of this thing and he was like no nope. like, nope. <laughs> like what and then oh it's really cool and then now you find out like she's taking everyone's money yeah she's sucks. Yeah, it was just not working out. <laughs> yeah. I remember when you first showed me that. And I was yeah, like, yeah. So I scared. thought it was cool. I was like, okay. Yeah. But, you know, she, yeah. No, she was not like a Steve Jobs. No. <laughs> she, <laughs> she just dressed like him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, she used it as a tool, I guess, to fool people. Hashtag marketing. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. The, that's part of that. That's on that. All right. So, um, so I just uh, finished. Uh, Philippines 2011 edit so it's so funny that like it's funny how well two things funny how like accidents happen like Mm -hmm. because the power is out you're forced to like look for things on your hard drive yeah I was just bored yeah exactly there's like nothing to do and then the second funny thing is like you you totally forget that you have these things yeah and they become like treasures later oh my god look what I found right (laughs) so uh, that's really cool I I remember when we were going when we were first going I was like oh we should make like a music video Right. Cause it's because you know what got me into making these like little videos. Uh huh. This actually this ties in pretty okay. well to it, but yeah. um, I was really into band music videos in the back, like not music videos, but like they a lot of bands that I like, like Bless the Fall, um, right of Mice and Men, they Blink One Eight Two. They do these like behind the scenes documentary style videos yeah. where they're playing their music mm-hmm. while like living life and then it always made me feel like oh man i want to like live cool like that too right yeah so i started to like whenever we do something cool i'd, I'd like try and film it mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and that was like the the beginning stages of i guess you could say the beginning stages of actual videography was like back in high school or like elementary school when yeah. brent was always making these like videos yeah and we'd help him out and stuff but then like actually making the style of videos that i make mm-hmm. uh came from bands Right, okay. and I just kept carrying it over because yeah. I was like, "Oh, it's really cool." So I, I remember when we were like leaving, I was like, "Okay, we should film it because it'll be like a once in a lifetime kind of thing." Yeah. But then like I just like forgot about it. We lost the footage. Like some crazy stuff happened, and then like now you finding it, I was like, "Oh, I should just re-edit it," you <laughs> yeah. know. And if you've ever seen, if you listen to this, and you've ever seen mid '90s, it's kind of like that feel. Although it was like filmed in 2011, yeah, it's got that like very old school vibe yeah, yeah, yeah i was actually thinking like it'd be cool to like buy a old school iphone and refilm things like that to make it have that old uh-huh. school video like you know like if you're a real videographer yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good tool to have right oh yeah because the pixelation's down and the, the sizing mm-hmm. but um what what i noticed like after watching that video because it was like heavily centered around me whenever i'd film and edit it was other people Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. the tear always features in my videos, especially, mm-hmm. like, when I'm traveling. Like, nobody really films me, but yeah. but this one, you were filming me because, like, you were behind the camera yeah, now. Yeah. And then I was watching myself doing all these, like, ridiculous things, like, trying to ride a motorbike or, like, jumping off some craziness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah. it's, like, of course the person that I was is the person that I am now. Mm-hmm. And then it made me think about how if you look at your life in a sped-up version, mm-hmm. you can see the 
the catalyst for every decision that's been made. Right. Or, or you see like a theme going, right? Yeah, yeah, B- yeah. Because cause we're looking at our lives from our own eyes. We're kind of like, oh, like this is my life. There was no past. There is no future kind of thing, right? Mm. Very yogic, right? Like living yeah, yeah, the moment. Yeah. Yeah. But then when, when I saw these videos and then I think about all the other videos I edited, it's like, oh, yeah, that's why I did that. <laughs> Even saying like, oh, I, I watched a band video and I, I tried to mimic that and I'm still yeah. mimicking that. It's like we all have reasons for actions, which, again, makes me believe in determinism, mm-hmm. you know, because it's like, is there such thing as fate? There's no like there's no fate that's like dictating where you're going to go. It's more like your choice Every single choice has a ramification, yeah. but that all you can all trace that back to the Big Bang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So like everything's like it's just a giant ripple, right? And we yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. forget yeah. about the ripple. Oh yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? And then like, and then it tripped me out because I started to think like, because that's like looking backwards. But then if you try and look forward into it, you're like, oh man, like we're gonna die, and then like all of our stuff's gonna get packed away, and then like people are forget about us. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we we are caught in a ripple okay. of yeah. time. Yeah. It was like that thing we were talking about yesterday, the Black Mirror. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they're dead, they're playing different memories from the past. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, like, if, you don't, if you've never seen the episode, definitely go watch it. But basically the premise is, like, you're watching these people jumping through different times mm-hmm. and you're like, oh, why are they jumping through different times? And then you realize they're dead and their consciousness is living on and they're just playing different um, moments. Moments, yeah. I wouldn't say it's their consciousness because consciousness is technically their awareness. Their memories lived on. Yeah, yeah. But this is impossible because you need you need a brain to store your memories. Yes. Because your consciousness is really just watching what's going on, but then your memories is telling you you're telling your consciousness what's like what it's seeing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like 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 uh, okay, <laughs> we, you'll be biking and then you're like, "Oh, I didn't even notice the bike ride." Until you stop and then you have to jump back in your memories to remember what it is. Right. Like everything's like a recall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, I kind of feel like we're we're caught in that moment where we think we're we're in something, but we don't realize we're in like a memory. Mhm. Just like in that Black Mirror episode. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. like they thought they were actually living it, but it's like, then how come I keep jumping? And it's like, yeah, because you're actually dead. Mm. You're just living on through your memories. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 I see. see and see, that's kind of how, how it is. Like, I don't know. It's too bad everybody can't just film their lives. Yeah. But if you take a moment and you, like, really think about it, it's, like, it's pretty mm. trippy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I then, thought it was interesting. And, and then as the a... Best. Yeah, it was so interesting. And then you're like, you're like, you forget because you see like an older person like Arvel. You're like, oh, he's he's like this big, strong guy now, right? Mm-hmm. But then like when I saw that video, I'm like, oh right, Arvel was that little kid that was always around. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just fascinating. And then we were talking about clothes, and then how like we, you're like, oh, I still have that same shirt. And then I was looking at the video, I'm like, oh, I still have the same of those clothes, right? Yeah. And you don't really buy new clothes now right we, we only buy out of necessity you know but your clothes you don't realize that like the first like it's sort of like tattoos or like things that you surround yourself with your yeah. clothes help set your mindset yeah, yeah, yeah. right like all right so if you're like <laughs> oh no it doesn't then it's like okay how do you feel if you're wearing a bunny suit and if you're wearing street clothes or if you're wearing a business suit mm-hmm. or if you're wearing a tuxedo you know what i mean and then like you will quickly realize that what you wear has a strong influence on your your mental outlook. Yeah. Of course, you can get past it, but it's like it'll always be there subconsciously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it helps. Yeah, it helps yeah. like yeah. your perception of the world. Yeah, as I mean, you move through it. It's like for actors too, right? When they put on it's exactly, yeah, 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 yeah their yeah. costumes or whatever, it kind of helps you put yourself in that mood. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, would would Heath Ledger still feel like Joker if they didn't put on? the freaking Joker makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Of yeah. course he wouldn't feel like Joker. He needs that stuff, right? Just mm-hmm. just like we're all actors in a play. But then it got me thinking like... It's like it, putting on masks. Yeah, it, is, it is like putting on masks. Yeah. It literally is like putting on masks. Like yeah. you do feel different if you're wearing like an army suit. Mm-hmm. Let, let's say you're going to war and then you put on like a like a 
cool army suit that's like amazing right and you're like oh i'm ready for war and then they're like okay now you're just gonna put on a t-shirt and you're gonna have all the guns you're gonna be like "Ooh, wait no i feel like like not properly equipped for this right you know because yeah. that helps you get into a mindset you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. so then it, it got me thinking about like other people how like you know people are like oh he changed all of a sudden that he got his new job mm-hmm. or like something like that you know yeah, like yeah, people yeah. change over time like oh he's like you know, they've got all this money now and they've suddenly changed. But it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, I could see that happening because they probably just ditched all their old stuff and then bought a bunch of new stuff and then now they're identifying with this stuff. But, like, if you if you keep old stuff around, you'll still be that same old person. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And that's what I meant when I was saying, like, I know I didn't say it here, but, like, last night when I was saying that our clothes keep our memories, mm-hmm. that's really what I meant because, like, they they don't they don't actively keep our memories, but we we attach our memories to our clothes. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You're like, yeah. oh, I remember wearing that shirt here, and I remember wearing these pants for this. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel like our whole lives are triggers. Like, you know, we we keep certain triggers around, but then that's why the the like ultra spiritual like ascetics they're like, okay, get rid of everything because I'm not real or whatever. But then it's like, then is that even worth living? If you let go of everything yeah, in your that's memories, my point. that's my point. Yeah. Like you need your attachments, you know. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, T City said it best. He's like, he's like, even if we lose it all, at least we had it for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And it's like that's a great philosophy. It's a very Zen philosophy because it's like, oh, it's here, it's great, and then if it's gone, it's gone, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of what debt too, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And then. Yeah, that's where it got me thinking about death again. Because like, oh, this is all gonna go away. Where it's like, yeah, it is all gonna go away, but simultaneously, you have it now, so enjoy it while it's here. Right. And then when it's gone, don't don't feel bad that it's gone. It's like, <laughs> it is what it is. You know, we're yeah. all gonna lose. You can't hold on to it forever. No. Nope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. That was that was my that was a long winded one, but. <laughs> oh, actually, no, no, wait, hold on. Okay. And then and then uh, this is like kind of side note ish. Yeah. But then it also got me thinking about the. Um, Logan Paul podcast yesterday. Oh wow, well, you're listening to Logan Paul. Yeah, well, because he had like my, my one of my favorite podcasters on. Okay. But then, like, I realized like he was so raw, and like real, that it's almost like, actually, you know what? I don't even want to talk about this because like this this kid, <laughs> I should, we're just gonna end it here because this kid like smiley if, if he ends up like not that he will end up seeing. I'm just saying it's like you never know about the ramifications of your own words, right? If I say anything, then he's like. So, dude, you said this once. Not not that I'm, like, that important, like, thinking I'm that important, but you never know. You don't want to put that karma out in the world. Like, some things are best left not recorded, is what I'm saying. But it was, it was an interesting podcast. All I'm saying is, like, it's fascinating. Okay, I was like, I right. learned a lot from it. Shouldn't have brought that up. But, all right. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm not going to ask for it. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you should continue that. <laughs> all right, all right. So mine is, again, why it's, it's really to see, yes, but it's because of this uh, – you know, people, it's replacing pets. Oh, fascinating. Right. Okay. Well, it might. I mean, uh, so they're just robots. Okay. Little cute robots that mm, act. That's hard. Uh, it's hard, yeah. I don't think it necessarily works for our generation, but no, it could work know. for it the future. It could work for the future. It's, I'm thinking about oxytocin, uh, like actual chemicals. Like because when you when you touch the dog, you get a chemical release in your brain. Yeah, the same thing could happen with robots. But it's like, it would have to be very believable. Yeah, I know, you I know, know I know. Like, it's not. You I don't see think, it in its eyes. No, 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 no. no, no. Like, oh, I'm just saying this is the alive. start of it to the point where you can probably have things that feel like the dog, but you don't have to deal with, you know, death. Uh, that you know, or like the washroom stuff, unless you want to add that in. I don't know. That true. I see what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. You know, I always have to take him for a walk. True, yeah, I feel you, I feel you. Right, it's, so like, anyway, so this one is called, um, the, uh, it's called Lovot, L-O-V-O-T. Okay. And then, um, all it does, it's it's just like a Smiles. toddler. No, it's, um, I'll tell you more, like, uh, what it's, uh, what it looks like. Anyway, so it just begs for attention and, uh. It's kind of annoying. Gets in the way of those. Lives with, like lives with it, right? Lives with you, kind of like gets in your way, like like oh, a normal pet, okay, okay. right? And then um, uh, it's specifically just designed to create emotional attachment. That's the whole point of this Interesting. thing. Interesting. Uh, it's and its only purpose is to be loved. 
That's like the way they've designed it. Yeah. Uh, so it's got like uh, the the main uh, emotion is coming from the eyes because uh-huh. it uh, so its eyes were like engineered to be cute with like I don't know, they're saying six layers of projections to create depth. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Because I was thinking, uh, like, how you so get the eyes it, right. Yeah, it makes it like look adorable. Like, and it does like. How, do you have a picture? Cooing sounds, um, and it responds to like your touch. Is there a picture? Uh, I'll show you that. Oh, uh, cool. And then it's got like fifty sensors located around its fuzzy body. Wow. Okay. That's, okay. that's pretty sick. And then it's got like it does look weird on the top of its head because like a canister type but that's for like the cameras that's right. for like um, so it can read um uh it has like that's, that's where the microphone's at and three cameras you know 180 degree to map the room and it's depth and thermal okay and it says it can help the ai recognize up to a thousand people wow uh so since it's like it's a robot it's battery operator right so it's, um, you can only, like it only lasts for an hour. Well, this prototype at least. Okay. And then it kind of like works like any, you know, those um, robots that clean your, like vacuum your home. Yeah. yeah. So it, and it know, those robots go back when it needs to go and charge, it goes back to its charging pod or something. Right. Okay. So it has to do, do the same kind of thing. Interesting. So, uh, yeah. And it, oh yeah, and it says uh, so. It's got because of the AI, it'll try to like remember, uh, like it it wants to be held in your arms, kind of thing. That's so crazy. And though. then um, it it like it says it'll fall asleep. So I don't know what that means. And then, um, if you treat it roughly, it'll remember and won't come oh, towards you. No way. <laughs> That's kind of freaky. It's like it's like they're trying to figure out a way to make AI acceptable without yeah. making AI. So it's trying like, like add this what it's there like behaviors like a toddler. That's that's very odd. That's kind <laughs> of weird. Yeah, yeah. That's sick, but it's kind of weird. Yeah, like, I, like, it's more designed in, for Japan, Japanese, I guess. It mm. kind of makes sense over there. And then maybe it'll slowly spread, but it's kind of like replacing pets in a way. But it's still too, for me, it's still too, like, it doesn't feel like a dog in a way. It's not like it. It's gonna take a long time till that happens. I would right. say. Right. Yeah. For sure. It's just I can see it's starting. Mm-hmm. I can see how this could potentially get there. Like mm-hmm. as you, as you know, we were talking about looking in the, into the past. It's like this is the past to yeah. when we go into the future and we see like where this technology has reached. <laughs> right. Yeah. For sure. To the point where yeah, yeah. It's just they become like normal pets to us. That's kind of freaky. I don't know if I'd be into it. <laughs> like, instead of, like, because we all think of now robots, like, just, or androids, like, doing work for us, like, cook for me or, like, yeah, clean yeah. for now me. Now this one, now this one is now it. more of getting attention. Yeah, yeah. Wants to be loved. Like, you know what I mean? It's a different type of, like, a ter- therapy. It could be a different. That's, that's so weird. That, like, I don't know if I could. <laughs> I don't know if I can get down with that. Right. Personally. Not everyone would go for that. Okay, that's the picture. Yeah. All right, I'll I'll superimpose this photo here. <laughs> in the pocket. Wow, this isn't doesn't even look real. So pass. yeah, it's it's very Japanesey. I can see. Yeah. Um, but there's like a video too on on the Verge if you want to check that out because it would try to come towards you. Uh, there was reading the Verge article is like the the guy that was filming it. Yeah. It kept going towards the guy that was filming it, not the person that really wants it. J- Japanese people are like super innovative in that kind of stuff. You know, like that's just like really intense. They, yeah, they're like, yeah, they're so trendy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's very interesting. The yeah, their focus. Did, is did you see? Uh, you, you walk by Finch, right? You walk by Finch down. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the new uh, gamer hub? The no, you didn't see it, eh? <laughs> yeah, my oh, focus man, is. Uh, you're gonna <laughs> trip out when you see it. That's why I brought I brought the Asian thing in there because like we live in a predominantly Asian area. Yeah. Uh, and. Mm. It's like they're so trendy and like hip. It's crazy. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So like the the new gamer, you know the one across the street from us, like the yeah. one in the top. You've never been inside, right? No. So it's like it's like old school freaking. You look at it, you're like, okay, this is like old school, but people are still playing it. Okay. This okay. new one looks like modern, like cape 
like Korean um, what was that esports Korean esports when oh, really? went to yeah it's like sick <laughs> they they have like these amazing like giant I don't even they might even be OLEDs yo they all look like curved oh okay okay and then like they've all got like racer chairs and it's like it's not like hidden away mm-hmm. like you know at the at the top there it's like you wouldn't even know there's a gamer spot there well I mean like yeah the number one like esports is from Korea yeah we're from Korea yeah yeah, yeah. but like. But, like, yeah. that one is, it's, like, hidden away, right? Yeah, yeah, But yeah. this one is, like, you walk by and all the windows are there, and it's, like, it's new, so it's, like, clean. So you just have, like, rows upon rows of, like, giant OLEDs and, like, racer <laughs> chairs. And then I was, like, looking, I was, like, oh, my God, this looks super intense. Like, you could play esports here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Next time you walk by, it's right next to the burrito place. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, right next to it. Because it's picking up burritos, and it's, like, oh. yeah. yeah, yeah. This is, this is oh. intense. I thought you'd like it. Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like another bubble tea shop. Cause they put like 80 of those in. It's weird. Yeah, there's so many. It's a huge competition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's like literally like 10 right beside each other. Yeah. <laughs> I always go for the cheap one, the like $2 one. It's, they all taste the same. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. All right, so you finished your... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Love so... Lavat. Lavat. Uh, so... This one, this one's an interesting one. It's not really like a, I guess it's really a topic, but it's more like a, a, what do you call this? It's like an observation. Mm-hmm. So like, um, I may or may not have been iry when I, when I came up with this one. But, uh, <laughs> so we were talking last night okay. and I was like, I, I said something to you about, I think it was the clothes one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it was yeah, the clothes. Yeah. And I was like, dude, this is the trippiest like why am I talking about this clothes with these memories right now and I was like and I was like I was like I was gonna laugh but then I noticed you were like entertaining my conversation and I was like oh like if, if this is normal person they'd be like dude like this is some high talk right now mm-hmm. like what are you talking about right now you know but like you entertained it and I was thinking about like when we were kids we always entertain this kinds of these kinds of conversations right like right, hence right. Socratic gamers like what we're doing right now it's like if you listen to us you might be like, do you guys are like, what are you talking about right now? Mm-hmm. But it's just things that like other people don't really like think to like, it's, it's like, it would be a thought and you're like, oh, this is not really applicable to progress. So let it go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's how philosophers are as well. Mm-hmm. They, they just like entertain thoughts all the way through. Yeah. You know I, what I'm I, saying? I think I see what you're saying. Yeah. Right. And it's like, even though I was like, oh, it's dude, supposed to be like that, yeah. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Oh, you studied philosophy, right? So it's like, <laughs> you know, or it's like, when I was like, oh, clothes keep our memories and like this and like yeah. this and like yeah, this yeah. is how they do it, you were like, I can see that, yeah, I understand. And I was like, oh, you've always <laughs> been like that, though. <laughs> yeah. You know, and we've always had these kinds yeah. of conversations, even growing up, like always growing up, like thinking about like Vish. Oh, so you're Vish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thinking about like Wob, Jared. Even France said, you know, we always like, yeah. you know, it was never too weird yeah, yeah, yeah. to talk about. And I feel like that's where we're losing society. Mm. Oh, and, and that's okay. And that's where I was going to go with the Logan Paul thing. So this is a positive thing. So like, that's what I liked about the podcast. He was going there. It was like, he was asking, they were asking some questions that I was like, oh, I would have asked that. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know, like I was watching it and like, I always wondered about Brendan Schaub's, um, Himza eye necklace. Mm-hmm. So they were just like, sitting there, and then his friend just shot out like, "Oh, are you spiritual?" And he's like, "Oh, why do you ask?" He's like, "Well, you're wearing the Himza thing." And I was wondering why you're wearing it. I was like, "Dude, I would have asked that same question." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right? <laughs> and it's damn. Now that now that Tara pointed out that I say, you know what I mean, I can't stop hearing myself say it. <laughs> yeah, sorry everyone out there. I'll try and like delete that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like when people say like, right? But, yeah. Um, or um, it's another one. Mm. But so I, I was watching. Normal, though. Yeah, true. Yeah, so uh, I was watching it, and I was like, I was like, oh, this is a very real podcast, and I wonder if that's why people gravitate towards it. He's got like a million. Although he does have a million, but he's also famous, so maybe that's why. But like, yeah, I was wondering like, why would people watch this? So I was trying to like figure it out, and I also wanted to hear what Brendan Schaub was gonna say. Cause I like him, right. and uh, yeah, it's just it's just more high talk. It's like, oh, these are things that most people wouldn't entertain. Most most like 
uh, I don't want to say most people because you have a million followers, but it's like, what do you call that? Most not civilized. Like, like you ever have you ever have those conversations where you're talking to someone? I'm sure you have, uh, where you're talking to someone not in our circle, and then they're like, "Oh, and I, I've always thought about that," or like, "Wow, you like, you really thought about that deeply," or something. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, these are just. I feel like these are normal things that just people push up, push down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, or they don't have interest in those sort of things. But is it like, do they have interest, or is it like? They just don't want to. No, I think it's more an interest. There's things okay. that we don't care about that they do. It's just out of interest. I think I feel like I would listen to anything right now. Yeah, maybe that's what our thing is. You like everything, or oh, we are true. interested to hear about everything. There's probably some things that I wouldn't listen to. Actually, not that we wouldn't listen to, but it's like it t- we won't give as much interest in. But like we probably listen to. Oh, it. like like oh my day went like this and yeah I, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was sort of like the, the introverts podcast, the uh, Charisma on Command that I was mm-hmm. watching. They're like, oh, all introverts, they like, they tend to like steer conversations towards things that they find entertaining. Mm, yeah, like that yeah. means something to them. Yeah. And they're not really interested in small talk. Yeah. Exactly. And I, just, I really can't deal with it. I, just, I actually don't know how to do that. <laughs> like not in like a, not in like a, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a, I'm better than you way. Like I wish I knew how to do that because right, it right. just it comes out come, really awkward. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes they'll be like, oh, I did this as we came up. It's like, oh, ha huh. And I'll just, like, turn around and do something else. And I'm like, damn, that was awkward. Of me. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's I think like, a lot of people feel that, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's a significant amount of people. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. If, I, if I just knew, like, some tricks. But it's like, I, I find that if I end up talking to them. Yeah. So, like, sometimes, okay, somebody, somebody will say something very trivial to me and Adrian. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... He has this great way of just walking away from them. When he gets bored, he just walks away. I'm like, damn, how do you do that? But then, like, because I'm there, I start asking these, like, more in-depth questions, and they start to think, like, oh, he's really interested in what I have to say. It's like, no, I just, I just don't want to make this awkward. Right. And I don't know. But I you make it worse. Because now I'm, I've talked now to you for a full hour yeah, about yeah, your day. Yeah, yeah, and they think you actually like this stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. And I'm like, wow, I just, I just kill. And then I don't know how to end up walking away. You just dig yourself just, in a hole. Yeah, basically. and then I just yeah. end up listening for four more hours. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God. People got to learn how to, like, like walk away. Like, I got to learn how to walk yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah. But I feel like jerk if I just like, all right, true, peace. Yeah, but I guess that's your fault, though. <laughs> You're the one I guess. thinking that. I guess. And yeah, maybe that's why I limit my time maybe it's more of a jerk to let them on maybe it is more of a jerk I, I don't know yeah <laughs> that's why I like to really limit my, that's why I like to limit my external um, outings right ish <laughs> that's also why I like the buffer of like technology because like you can you can like present yourself in a cool way without having to actually talk mm-hmm. to people you know somebody sends you a message you're like I'll deal with that later yeah you know Whereas, like, if you're talking to them face to face, like, oh, I gotta deal with that right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, learn how to say no, people. The greatness of technology. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it, yeah, that's yeah. about it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, oh, it's like, it's fascinating that we had done that for so long. But I feel like we only had that opportunity because we were around each other because i'm pretty sure like other people i think i guess so you know what i mean like we just luckily lucked out on us being together Mm -hmm. to say to like entertain the conversation but like if you lived in that environment with older people yeah or younger people it's like you could never get that out yeah i guess you you gotta be around the right kind of people like kind of like to continue like yeah and not get like made fun of yeah. and you're like oh maybe I am thinking dumb right yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. where there are people like, it's, it's a, yeah it's a really a normal phrase oh that's like kind of dismissive talk. yeah it's dismissive that's the word that's the word yeah. because then people would just be like like bro you hot right now and you're like <laughs> oh maybe I'm high Damn. right right and it's like oh yeah it's just like then that's the dismissive or dismiss or like or you tripping yeah there's another one where you're like yeah oh, yeah, yeah that's I also I'm tripping, I'm tripping yeah 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 and don't look further into but it. we would always do that too though would, like we'd go into these like really in-depth talks and then we'd just be like yeah Yo, you're tripping and we'd like change well, it well if you know? if yeah if it's something like 
but we know. it's but we wouldn't dismiss it right away. No, no, no. We'd no, at no, least no. like give it some thought. And yeah, then yeah, be like, yeah. All right, yeah, now yeah. now we're done. Let's go do something else. Right. Yeah. Because you could spiral that way. Yeah. I guess there's levels or points. You know what I mean? There's to levels it. to everything. Yeah. Levels. Yeah. All right. So next week. Uh, if I don't die, because I'm going to the dentist. So. Oh, we'll is that this one. week? Yeah, I mean, Friday, next, whatever's yeah, coming up. Oh. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's childhood stuff right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So if you don't have another podcast next week, it's because I died in the dentist chair. Out of fear. <laughs> is that weird? Like, I took that all the way to the, like, I'm probably just going to die on that day. Yeah. I'm just going to, like, have a heart attack That's in the chair. Like, oh, no. That's fine. No, but, like, you know. Well, yeah. I guess, yeah, it is fine. It's fine. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> It'll be fun. Yeah. All right, so next week, weekly roundup. We still got to do our book reviews. Yeah, we got to get on that. Yeah, we'll figure out a we'll day to do one. We also got to play some more online sessions. Yes. Yeah. All right, so take it easy. Live life to the fullest. Yeah. Cool. Or not. No. Mm, technologies will take us. No, robots will take over the world. You know, it'd be crazy if it's like, it's like, oh, live life to the fullest, and then technology puts us to the point of like, oh, you can do that later, because we'll live forever. You know what I mean? It's oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be oh, crazy. Yeah. That, would, that would actually be really detrimental, where it's like, <laughs> oh, I should really go take this job. It's like, eh, it'll come around again in 500 years. You'll be fine. <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. we'll be like trees at that point. It's like, I guess. <laughs> like, our perception of time will be like super. Oh, yeah. yeah you know? Yeah. You know? Because like, if you're like a fruit fly and you, you live for a day, your perception of time is probably super fast. Mm-hmm. Whereas like us, we live for seven years, we're at that speed. But if you live like a tree, you know. Yeah, you take your time. Yeah, it's probably like a hyperlapse when they see us. Or, yeah, yeah like super hyperlapse. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I guess so. It wouldn't be slow. Mm. Would it be slow? I don't know. If you're in it, I guess. If you're from the tree's perspective. It would be slow. No, it wouldn't be slow. Why not? Because they live for like 10,000 years. So like to us, it's like we're just dropping like flies. Uh, yeah, but it will, I'm saying it's slow to them. Us moving around? You no, know, if you go from backwards, yeah, it's fast. Okay. Like from when the tree would die 10,000 years from now or whatever. It's like fast, but it's like going through it, it's... Slow, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it would be like, it would be set to their speed, like how we're set to our speed. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Whatever that means. This is more high talk right now. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. But you see how we entertained it? <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah. All right, so until next time. Yes. Take it easy. Peace. Enjoy your high talk. <laughs>